All right, guys, we're pulling into the scrapyard. Got to get weighed real quick. Empty weight, 5919. Looks good. What in tarnation is going on? Garrett. Garrett, Garrett, get on the radio, man. What are you doing? What's up, man? Are you I was okay? Just going for a joyride. Oh, I'm doing good. Oh, How I about thought you? I thought the wheel loader was like stuck. Oh, ca careful! I'm back here, man. Man, I'm amazing at driving this thing. Okay. No worries. I'm, get, I'm getting this thing parked and out of the way before Garrett runs into my brand new truck. It's my new 3500 Chevy. Oh, pretty nice, man. When did you get this thing? Yesterday. Yesterday. Well, there you go. Good yes, purchase, sir. man. Yes, sir. All right. You, man, you can't be driving my wheel loader crazy like that. I was uh, testing out the uh, how strong the forks were, you know, because I was like propped up. And... Oh, yeah. Nice. When did we get these in? I didn't see it yesterday. Well, they came in this morning. Nice. Okay. We've been, we ordered the special order. See, I tried welding my own one time and I kept breaking them. We tried making our own. Like, anyway, we needed really, really long forks because they come in handy. And these ones, is, uh, okay, they can go pretty wide. It would be nice if they could go a bit wider, but we'll see how they work. Yeah, the good thing is they're so long. Like, there's definitely some vehicles we could just pick up, like, lengthwise. Yep. And the Komatsu here, I think it's 22 metric tons. Yep. Maybe, or 25. About. Yeah, something like that. Um. Anyway, Garrett, I got a huge job today. We're doing one job, one job only. Then when we get it done, you're done for the day. You can go home. Th this sounds like the easiest day ever. Uh, it's a pretty big job, man. Uh, okay, you know what? That makes sense. Because I was going to say, like, usually we have, like, eight jobs in a day. Here, this is what we're going to do. Jump in the semi, jump in the Mac, fold up your ramps. Uh, You know what? Keep the ramps down. I'm going to load up the Kamatsu, and then you'll follow me. Uh, okay, sounds good. You know where we're going? Yeah, it's not too far. That's the nice thing about this job. We were bidding it, trying to compete with other scrap yards and other like demolition companies. And I was able to get the low bid because I knew we could get there really close, and it didn't cost us a lot of time and, and fuel to get there. So it's so close, Garrett. I could almost drive the wheel loader down the road, man. Okay, well, yeah, we're not going to do that because that would take forever. No, I mean, it, it's close. It wouldn't take too long. Yeah, but this thing drives so slow. We, we are taking this out. Yeah, We no. need it there either way. Yeah, for sure. Okay, follow me. This is going to be a fun one, guys. We're going to a abandoned, like, I don't even know what you call it, like an old farm. And the farmer was a hoarder pretty much. And those are the best ones to get to. Pretty much a junkyard. Yep, they have lots of stuff and they sell it to us for very cheap, usually because their family's forcing them to. Yep, and then we scrap her and make a bunch of money. All right, take a left out of here. The scrap yard's looking good. Usually we don't have it that clean. And then, yeah, Garrett, so just follow me and we will, uh, we can't miss it. It's just a couple miles up the road here. I feel like I might know the place. Yeah, we're you going drive for. by it all the time. You'll know it yeah. when you see it. Yeah, you're talking about someone with just a bunch of stuff. Like, yep. it's, it's hard to miss this one. Old, old Harold's place. It's right up here. Can you explain to me why my semi truck's struggling so much to get up this hill? The Kamatu going... weighs 50,000 pounds, man. Okay, well, I'm going like 13 miles an hour. Well, like, you shift some gears, man. I'm trying. Well, maybe, uh, yeah, hopefully there's no issues going on with the semi because we're going to be needing it today. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to load this thing up, aren't we? That's right. There we go. Ramps are coming down. Garrett's pulling in. Holy biscuits, man. It would be nice to have like some brush mower to take down these bushes, but we'll just get through it. Watch out. Slow it down, man. Slow it down. Okay, here we go. This thing has good brakes. It's a big load. Okay. Full the ramps. I'll get her unloaded here. There we go. I'm so excited to test out these forks. We ordered them and it took like two months for them to come in. So yeah, Garrett, just put your hazards on, fold up the ramps and I'll load you from there, I think. Do you think we're going to have to do multiple trips with this or you think we're going to get it all in one go? Uh, Probably multiple trips, which is no big deal. Okay, I went into the ground, which is no big deal, Garrett, because it's pretty close, man. Yeah. Man, you're lifting up a combine. There we go. Okay, yeah. Make sure everything looks good. So this... It's like we almost got to lift them up in the air. Then we can look at what the heck we're, we're, we're lifting. Yeah. Well, there's so many bushes here. This looks like an old, gosh, an old Fent combine. Oh, it's got the red rims, the green paint. Yep. Maybe it was something else and the, the paint just turned different colors. This stuff is old. It is definitely old. Like this stuff's been here as long as our scrap yard has been. Probably longer. That's right. Yeah. Garrett, I'm not too worried about fitting a bunch on the trailer because you can just head down the road and then and then we can load it out of the scrapyard okay talk to me okay it's a little, it's a little crooked your, yep. your back tire yeah let's see if we can just move it over a little yeah, it, it should it. hold nope 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 move it back move it back towards you there we go okay it's good enough okay throw let's... a few straps on it and let's here let's walk around the place i already walked it but i'll show you what we're dealing with man uh, okay 
let's see what's going on all right check this out an old fire truck it's uh it's a six by six pro yeah it's a six by six there's three axles so this is like an old fire truck i think they said it was from like the 40s or 50s something like that and some work was done anyway we got an old car here too Jeez, that one looks pretty good you could fix her up in a water tanker this guy's yeah. gonna be pretty heavy man i'm thinking we take the steering wheel out of this thing because it looks like pretty good Oh, yeah. That's probably the last thing they changed on her. And then these barns, I think we're going to come in with an excavator later next month once we get the inspection done and uh, probably burn or tear them down. Yeah, they're pretty clean on the insides, but no use to us. Yeah, I think people will probably come for the wood and reuse the wood, but yeah, there's too many holes in here to patch up. Yeah. No, you, you don't want to like pretty much redo the entire thing. It's one of those renovation jobs. You'll spend more money fixing up than if you just tear it down and replace. Exactly. Yep, for sure. And then, gosh, I thought there was more in here, but that might be it after we got the combine. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I'm sure we'll find... Okay, here we go. So there's this pile of... I think this is just old, old scrap metal. So that'll make good money. Oh, yeah. Here we, we're just going to be finding stuff all day long here. Yeah, it could be tucked in the bushes, but... All right, let's... uh. Let's see. I think, is the semi loaded up or you think we can fit one more on there? I think we can fit one more on. Like, at least that small car could definitely go at the end here. Okay. I tell you what, I can't get to that car right now. I'm going to get the water tanker you pull around my truck. Okay. You think you can pull it? Well, yeah, it should be able to. Okay. You left your ramps down. There we go. Here's the big old water tanker. Just dragging it out here. These long forks are so nice. I, I won't accidentally break glass like Garrett did last week in this thing. We don't got to talk about that, man. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I wish I had that on video. I'm glad you don't. Okay, I got this as close to you as I can. We're taking up the entire road. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to come from the back here. I got it like weirdly pinched on the forks yeah i was gonna say that's a questionable way to hold it but man the kamatsu is so heavy and i put i put another like three thousand pounds of rear counterweight on the back so should work out pretty good just talk to me here garrett yep okay so it's a little crooked but oh no you think you'll strap nope yeah were, that, that ended up being perfect yeah you know what it, it will strap down is it safe? Eh, questionable. Safe right, enough. You're up next. Jump in the wheel loader. Okay. Okay. Now remember, the, Garrett, those forks are a lot longer, so you, you got to pay attention where they're going when you're in yeah, the bushes. I, I could take out quite a bit with this. Okay, what are we thinking? Maybe those, like, rusty... I was thinking the pallet of scrap metal, yeah. the rusty metal, or... Yeah, just do that right yeah. now. Okay. Don't even need the long forks for this one. Could be heavier than you think, though, so just act like it weighs a million pounds. Okay. Here we go. Yep, you're good. You're through. All right. Nice, man. Send it back. This is going pretty smooth. And then from there, I think, gosh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Maybe push the fire truck out of the way and get the little car. Yeah. So where am I putting this? On either one. We got room on both. Okay. You know what? Let's put it on yours because then I could get the car on mine and probably handle it a little bit better. 10 4. Yeah, I guess I didn't realize that water tanker is hanging off a bit, but we're just scooting down the road. Yeah, it should be fine. There All you go. Right. Well, if you guys are enjoying today's episode so far, hit the like button, subscribe. And if you, if you guys want to see more of these like scrapyard videos, there's a lot of hoarders in town. Like Garrett and I are always knocking on doors like, hey, man, we will clean up your place and give you money for it if we can just you know have all their old iron pretty much but a lot of people want to just keep it in their hoarders grab the fire truck we aren't going to load it out right now we'll have to take a second trip okay i'll move the fire truck and then i want to see you load up that car that car yep there you go Let, that's a big one oh yeah this thing's heavy just shimmy it over oh yeah it's got a bunch of flat tires it's not gonna roll too good all right now it's your turn jump all right, on 10 in four. And... i can't really see it man it's it's in like these huge bushes yep there you go. You're just knocking them down. Come oh, on. I shouldn't stand on it. What kind there of car go. is oh, yeah. this, man? Uh, You're the car guy. Yeah, I'm not quite. Some kind of probably like Chevy, I'd assume. It looks like uh, it looks like the car it looks like, uh, gosh, what do you call it? Uh, Doc in the Cars movie or whatever. The one with the oh, blue yeah. car. Let's strap it down and then start driving back. And I'll bring the wheel loader down so I can unload it okay that sounds good so you're just gonna drive that down the road pretty much man i'll probably beat you there yeah most likely well it is downhill at least but okay yeah you're cruising 
Yeah, man, it goes 25 down the road. We're taking out some crops over here. That's right. We told the farmer we were, we were accidentally going to damage some stuff for sure. It's just how it's going to go. Yeah, they'd rather us take out some of their crops and clean up like their neighbor's yard, you yeah. know? And it sounds like they're going to farm it. Once those buildings are down, then, you know, they're going to have, what? That's probably an acre and a half that they get to farm, an acre. All right, Garrett's already pulling through. Which which corner? Let's see. Let's see. We aren't going to put that in the crusher. Man, look at this weight. What is it? Come take a look. Part of my trailer's on here, but we're at 20,000 pounds. Dang, yeah, that is pretty heavy. Well, let's uh, let's pull it through. Just pull straight forward, and then I'll unload it, and then you pull out. Okay. All right, right there's... Pull forward a bit more. All right, screw okay. it. I'm just pushing it off, man. Oh, jeez. This is usually how it goes. That'll work, man. All right, pull forward. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Just pull Hello. forward. Floor it. Yep. And starting my truck back up. Okay, there we go. We got it. Here, you move those around, and I can go grab your truck if you want. Yeah, go ahead, do that. What's nice about these forks, too, is they slide in a bit, and they slide out. So, like, on this little car, I don't need them that wide. But then on the combine, I want them as wide as I can possibly get them. There we go. Garrett, I'm going to stack this one on the car that we cut in half yesterday. Okay, that thing was so much fun to cut. Yeah, we had a, we had a huge, like, saw on the excavator, and it we just cut her in half and here comes the combine oh i had it on there then it slipped off but i'm just gonna gosh i don't know i guess if i just throw it on those cars then i'll just smash them and help compact it there we go and dumper got the combine back and garrett's already back here yes i am we are sitting with this load uh i think our scale is broken it says 500 pounds oh all good man we'll just get it on here okay because yeah I, I hope this thing weighs more than 500 pounds Tell you what, Garrett, if you can get those unloaded, then you're done for the day. I'll go get the fire truck by myself. Okay, that sounds good to me. All right. Here we go. Just jump in. All you got to do is those two and you're done. This will be a piece of cake. I think you're going to be off before before launch time. Yeah. So, but I'm you paying for the my whole... trailer. It's okay. It's okay. I'm paying for the whole day though, right? Nope. Just launch. All right. Well, that's off the trailer. Did it the way you do. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And then we'll do the same here. Now you just want me to pull through? Yep. You should be good. All right, 10-4. Well, Garrett, you're good to go, man. I'm going to go get the fire truck by myself. And hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.